Okay, welcome back, guys. And today we're going to be talking about ZBrush to Blender workflow. And um, in this workflow, I'm going to be telling you about Go Z and Go B. So Go Go Z is the default for uh, ZBrush to other applications. So in case you finish sculpting, you need to export to other application. You don't have to go to export OBJ, then import again. So basically, you're just supposed to just hit Go Z. And you go to the application and it works usually in Maya you can actually just do that right off the bat like just go Z go to Maya and it works but in blender we cannot and I use blender a lot and I found this um, great add-on which is called go B so it works the same way so when you press go Z you can come here and import it and it works actually it just works automatically it works better than Maya if you ask me but uh, the idea is that you just click on import when when you install the add-on. First of all, let me show you what the add-on is. It's called Google Busy GitHub. I'm going to drop in the description down below. And um, yeah, when you press import, when you click on import, you just come down here and you just go Z. And if you go to Blender, yeah, it's there. That is, that's what the plugin, that's what the add-on does. That's nothing else. But I just want to show you some cool stuff I do with this. Because this is really, really cool. So, so ZBrush, as we know, as let me get my pen here. ZBrush, as we know, has some limitations that are really, really annoying. So, for example, I'm just going to show you some of those limitations. Sometimes I tend to work on, like, sub D, for example, and... And I'm like, okay, I want to work on the topology. For example, if I go to Z add, yeah, and I go back to the lowest, oops, I go back to the lowest subdivision, and and I want to maybe insert. I can't do that. It's telling me this mesh has multiple subdivisions and blah 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 blah. And I'm 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 fucked. I so the best thing I can do is just go Z. Yeah, let's do that right now. So go to the the highest subdivision, and you just go Z to just export the lowest subdivision for you. So I can go to, you know, Blender, yeah, and I could just like, you know, let me see if I can add this somewhere, and maybe just make this adjustment in blender and i can just export back and now what it's going to tell me is that the topology of the mesh has changed press yes to transfer i resolution details to the modifier and you say yes press no to delete the i resolution so you just press yes and what's going to do is turn off this is if we should go down here we can see that adjustment and that edge look that we added so this is really powerful this workflow is really amazing because you could continue working in zbrush you really want to stay in zbrush and you don't want to export your mesh and import and you know this yada yada stuff and you're in blender so you could actually just uv if you prefer uv in, in blender you could just uv in blender come back here maybe you want to add some textures in zbrush you need good uvs you can just go back and forth and it's really really cool like i could just like uh i could sculpt here and go z this and it's here and that's really amazing and the cool thing is that i could Take advantage of Blender sculpting tools. Too, if you know how to sculpt in Blender, and for example, I could do, yeah, I could sculpt here too. Let's increase the strength. I could sculpt here too, and I'm using the move tool. Yeah, and take the advantage of this, or take the advantage of. Um, of Blender's modeling tool, for example, you know, I could extrude this face, you know, 
like both programs have their strength and this just just does that for me just helps me and i'm working with my lows of the and everything is just i could just go back and forth and it's a really fast workflow and i just wanted to show you guys to show you this workflow it's a really amazing one if you are and if you're going to end up going to blender to set up your scene and you need to like sculpt some details in zbrush because zbrush is industry standard you you need you need that add-on to make things fast for you because they are too maybe you're used to um blenders modeling and sculpting and you just want to learn zbrush because oh zbrush is more powerful this is really effective because you can actually not be comfortable just switching right ahead so you just want to do some stuff in zbrush and do some stuff in blender or maybe zbrush modeling tools are not as great as blenders so you just want to quickly do some modeling and come back to um zbrush to add more details and you know add some dent and all that kind of stuff and send the eye poly back to blender everything just works you could actually just delete this and send the eye poly to um what do you call it to blender this might take a little bit of time because it's like two hundred thousand polygons but usually it's most of the time it's fine and sometimes sometimes it doesn't work especially when you make some drastic changes in um in zbrush you have to just press this import button again so they can update so you you then press go z again and if you should come back now it's back and the eye pull is there and you can do whatever you can take advantage of all the tools you have in blender and it doesn't feel like you're you were doing so much it just feels like you're just sucking it's, like it's like another window you know you can just take your zbrush as a, a new window and just keep working and you can take advantage of blender it's it's really amazing guys i just wanted to show you guys what this tool can do and hope you guys uh, found some value and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.